Welcome back everyone. It has been cold, gloomy, well some days, but mostly just cold here in North Georgia and I'm ready to get out of the house. So baby and I are doing that today. We are going to go thrifting. Actually there's an antique mall that I have in mind and today we are going to look for some things that you guys can use to make homemade Valentine's Day gifts. So let's be on the lookout for that. Candles, vases, little wicker baskets. These are some of the things that I'm going to be searching for. So let's get started. So here's an example of exactly what I was intending to do with the vases and the wicker baskets, which is to put the glass inside of something like this. So it's just really cool that I saw that here. So they're selling theirs for 12 bucks, but yeah, it's pretty cute. And then I found some other things too that could work for our candle making. Um, this is just really adorable, but I really don't want to break up the set. I kind of just wanted one, but I'm going to leave that for somebody else that might want all three. But I did forget to mention that earlier is I'm actually looking for things like this to turn into candles. So not looking for candles specifically, but so far I'm seeing a ton of good things. There's a lot here. There's baby waiting on me to get moving. <laughs> I get so caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down Deep down And it's not a lie That I die I can't hide too bad like this little guy actually because then we could have it make it have a lid Ooh, I like this and someone painted it might have to go with this guy So this is kind of what I was looking for for the candles because it's very easy to find a lot of glass but the pottery is just such a pretty natural look that I wanted to try out but I don't want to do that for 19 <laughs> but I did find this so I think I'm gonna go with this one At Goodwill, I was able to find, as I always say, baskets as well as the glass vases that I used for one of our homemade crafts. Now, I was also taking a look at these type of baskets because I was thinking about doing an organization, thrifting for organization items video. So let me know if you guys think that that would be something you'd like to see. But as you can see, picked up that little one right there. And yeah, there's just some really neat ones for organizing as well. Ooh. 
we are back and it's time to make our candles so i have a couple videos that i have made candles in before and i recommend the christmas one because i had gotten a little bit better at it by then had better materials so go ahead and watch that one too if you're interested in making some of these on your own and then here's a look at what i grabbed from the antique mall this was super cute. I loved that it had a lid and I loved the flowers and the colors, especially for our Valentine's Day theme. And I really wanted to find a little piece of pottery and this just fit the mold completely. It was a pretty neutral color. I love that tan with the beautiful blue and definitely had to grab that one. And then if we don't know by now, I'm a sucker for those little glass ones. <laughs> All right, after microwaving or heating up your wax, it's time to pour and be very careful. And I actually ran out of wax, so I had to go to the store later that night and buy more. But I also added a little pizzazz to that glass cup or whatever we want to call it, <laughs> candle. And I think it turned out really cute. Okay, here is our next project the easiest you guys find a cool glass vase that you like each of these items were only 99 cents i think i took the sticker off that other glass one but as you can see a dollar each so four dollars total for this project and super easy but we are going to just add some texture some interest some cuteness to these glass vases and of course you can use this any time of year, but I'm choosing to make this specific for Valentine's Day, and we are certainly going to be adding some flowers into those vases. After you have prepped your basket and vases, it is time to glue. Now we do want this to sit nicely inside of each basket so that way if you did lift it up from the glass you're not going to drop your basket. Um, and thankfully each of these were just the perfect fit and your options are endless at the thrift store when you do try to do a project like this because you could get um, crafty with the different types of baskets they have or different colored glass. So just glue, using hot glue, glued it into each of the baskets. Now for the first one, I went around the top and then this one actually there was a hair of room at the top. So I decided to glue it from the bottom.
after adding our water and our fresh cut flowers this is the final look of the super easy homemade gift I love how the glass and the wicker together really do suit so many different design styles. And then of course, adding in some beautiful flowers. And then if you have that specific person in mind and maybe you know what their favorite flower is, that also helps. But considering these are for Valentine's, you really can't go wrong with some roses, but I, this is for myself, so I just went with whatever I thought was really pretty, um, some flowers that I found at the grocery store. All right, let's finish up this candle project. So just adding a little more wax because as I told you guys, I had to go and buy more. And then I was looking at the clear or the glass one and I was like, this needs something extra. So I actually took a little bit of the flowers from the bouquet that you saw with the vase and the wicker and added some flowers to the top. And I really love the way this just added some color, made it a little bit more unique and looked really pretty. This is the next morning, so letting all of that wax cool completely, and we're just gonna remove our little wick holders, which were my butter knives this time, and trimming those wicks. And then we are all complete. What do you guys think of our homemade gift ideas for Valentine's Day? As you can see, I added a little bow to this one just to kind of give it that extra touch for the holiday. Um, and you know, I'm still getting my candle making skills down. So I've got some bubbles in some of them. The wicks aren't perfectly straight, but when it comes to a homemade gift, I really don't think the recipient cares that much. It came from the heart and that means so much. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and please subscribe. Also share this with someone who you may think will enjoy this video and I will see you guys next week and thank you so much for watching.